in speaking about a coming together, <laughs> um, we know that our young people uh, need adults, need our adults, need our adults to um, encourage them and to assist and provide enrichment as well as empowerment. Um, and a way to do that is to sponsor a child for summer camp. Yes, a lot of the summer camps are already full. Um, however, there's always an opportunity though, because some of them go by weeks. Some of them um, have different sessions. So it's always an opportunity to be involved from your church to the community um, centers, boys and girls clubs, doesn't matter. You can always sponsor a child. And by that, yes, I do mean pay for them. And as I do know, if, as we know, times are hard, but if we just give beyond and try it and see what, what happens. We, there's a dire need for mentors, um, Atlanta Cares. It is an initiative from Essence Cares and they are short on mentors. So, you know, carementoring.com is where you can go and sign up and they're only asking for four hours a month. But the, the initiative was launched for Atlanta Cares last year in 2007 and Ms. Coleman, in, in, um, sorry, advises us that they are very well low to what they thought they would be. Here we are a year later. It was a wonderful coming out at Washington High School with all the different organizations. However, see what we have to stop doing is being one shot wonders. We have our wonderful event and oh, everybody's doing a good thing. And next thing you know, no, they never did get back or, you know. So we have to be about the business of building our youth for tomorrow. And one way, again, is sponsoring them through camps, whether it is a basic summer camp or a lot of things that, that come on the scene are sports camps. And hence the reason I have my husband here, Mr. Calvin A. Hill Sr., who, um, <clears throat> yes, he played ball in school and is now, you know, from being introduced to certain things and one being weightlifting when he was in high school, um, he has continued that through the years, uh, even in the Marine Corps playing, playing sports, as well as, um, as continuing to lift weights. So I have heard his stories over and over again amongst uh, our classmates and um, of what, you know, what it meant for a particular person, uh, coach or trainer in your life. And, you know, someone in, in the town just acknowledging what you're doing. These are the little things that can be done that make a big difference and impact the lives of our young people. Mr. Hill. I mean, it's, it, I couldn't have said it, I guess I couldn't have, you couldn't have said it anymore. I think it's very imperative that uh, we as adults uh, pay strictly attention to, the, to our youth um, because we can make a difference in their lives uh, from, our, from our trials that we went through uh, to, share those, to share those with them. Uh, for one, for me, uh, when I was in high school, uh, I was introduced, you know, to a lot of things at a late age. Uh, when I was a sophomore in high school, I come from a real small rural town that didn't, just really didn't have a whole lot. But one man came in and, and put a get, put a get, put together a football team and a, a weight program, and and, and, it, and it changed my life. Uh, it enabled me to to go forward in the Marine Corps to you know have a, a great career there. Uh, but at the same time, trying to give back to the community and to with you uh, by sharing those by sharing those experiences, uh, we all have someone in our lives that have made an impact. And our youth today, uh, they really need us. Uh, they they really need us because at some point, you know, we we need to make sure that they understand that the sacrifices that are being made or that have been made from those that have come before us uh, are, are still there. Uh, the, the, the lessons that we learn uh, in, in, in our lives, as far as I was concerned, excuse me, uh, I'm, I'm continually, I'm continually uh, pressing on, and I love to see young people. I work very diligently in my church uh, with with the youth, uh, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade boys. Uh, they have a lot on their plates right now. Uh, the, the peer pressure, the music, a lot of this stuff is going on. Uh, these summer camps uh, that, 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 that are so-called full uh, a lot of kids want to go, but don't have the funds to go. And if you, if, if someone out there is able to help them, 
I mean, everyone needs a everyone needs a boost in hand. I mean, just think about how many times we as adults uh, needed someone to help us. I mean, these, these youth are the same way. They continually need someone. Uh, maybe the parent can't get them there. Uh, maybe the parent doesn't have enough income to get them to get them what they need. But I'm pretty sure that if we if someone, you know, if we sponsor those children to get them into the camps, it could change their lives. Uh, small lessons and, and small deeds have a way of, of, of impacting our lives. Uh, I, I won't get into a lot of testimony about what it did for me, but uh, at my age right now, I mean, being introduced to something as simple as, as physical fitness when I was in the 10th grade, here I am almost 50 and I'm continuing to do that. Uh, at my age right now, uh, at 48, uh, I lift weights like it's like it's like it's no tomorrow. Uh, to be able to say at my age that I'm being, I can bench over 350 pounds at 48 years old. I could never have done that uh, without the uh, assistance of one man, one coach. Uh, I have a friend that's out in Douglasville that's was running for a city councilman, and he runs on the campaign of saying one man can make a difference, and that's actually true. One person can make a difference in your life. Uh, so if if, 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 if there's an opportunity for us as adults to sponsor these children, uh, the easiest children, you know, we should do that. I think that is one of the things that uh, that that is in, that has helped us a, a, a lot, uh, Sharon, in, in, in our lives. Uh, the examples that the people the people that comes into our lives, uh, the lessons that they teach, uh, we we always have to remember that. And I always tell my kids in Sunday school sometimes is that you don't have to really take it by take with take my advice, but you just need to know good advice when you hear it, you know? Well, of course. I told you he had a story. And, you know, um, as we as we end this segment, we definitely want you to, you know, keep tuning in and not just look, you know, to sponsor, but also um, let us know who you know that needs sponsorship. Um, it's, it's imperative that we reach out and that we connect. Um, I was actually reminded of uh, one of our church members who we have six children and way back then uh, one of them needed glasses and they offered to actually you know pay for it as well as another daughter when she was um, running uh, as a debutante and the people just you know came forward um, it's it's there I, again people want to help they just need to know how Thank you so very much. Of course, always images and issues with all the news you can use. We're connecting globally. This has been Sharon J. Hill with Pastor Earl Carroll.